the so the three in the same order in the case. Yep. Okay. What I see a counter evidence which indicates that revoking the authority of the state to promote potential life is directly the opposite of Casey, which found on the basis of that authority that the state could impose uh, burdens insofar as those are not found to be undue. And their interpretation prevents new grounds of the key to appropriate flexibility, which is central on a small topic, outweighs negative predictability because they always have gene generics to the question of how the affirmative can access the resolution in the first place. Secondly, these are key to critical affirmatives, which are key to our education. They don't simply repeat the terms of the court. It's a question of the quality of education. And also, every overrule is implicitly or explicitly the establishment of a new law that's done without doing justice to create no law in the overrule case. Every decision the body of judicial decisions on the common law itself must be followed. Certain decisions is also more likely to raise an all future decision to be made in conformity with the present one. Judges don't rule a previous decision. They more than disagree with that decision. They substitute the old law and do one that is just been created. The counter interpreter, competing interpretation of matter, which creates a race to the law that justifies one topic of the case. Reasonability should be the guiding principle for your ballot, which is key to a time to a topic education. Otherwise, they've only been instrumentalized topic county, making a method for uh, skirting more substantive issues to cross file the process arguments that are made on the counter that those are equally uh, impact credits of their interpretation. Go to the disadvantage now. This is reproductive futurism. They are a promotion of the future where we reproduce the rule of law instead of for democracy. We've already impacted on this kind of democracy, and I will do some more at the bottom of this flow, but this only means that whatever threats their idea of liberal democratic order can be identified and eliminated in the world of their political logic. And we will win the impact made. A point is the, the logic of futurism requires violence against queerness in order to sustain itself. This argument is already been made. This makes the money seem more likely and more immediate. And their figure of apocalyptic violence is precisely what makes this violence possible. This is coming all the thousand. The apocalypse is definitely local. Apocalypse is the population of the land to another whose presence is threatening the population. Apocalypse is never present because it is ever useful to the practical alternative construction agencies of power. Sure, their authority to act on the body of a particular population, whatever might be construed to the threat of life and survival, serves the authority to make an expression of a particular how invasive or annihilating, but the state would itself with a power over collectivizing the threat of an apocalyptic device. Seems that the civic condition is a conspiracy to be done without the peace of point. Why live in the future? Perpetual deferral of human freedom to a future that we never experience is hardly a life worth living. This is also a life worth the only value attached to the individual's her capacity to act as a vehicle for reproduction. Take the risk of no future in favor of a present which doesn't present itself as contemptible. And here's more evidence that the future is a fantasy element which doesn't for the future. It comes to seek by access to the realization of the state's or investment in the deferral debate about the supply chain. The future will not go for a bundle of doing the initiating tracker and an option of mobilizing a fantasy of temporary reversal. As in the future, we're pledged to make the new loss can never repeat the mission of future ready. Not simple to know poorly that the figure of having the language and structure requires the perpetual emotion of an errance. This errancy of language never reaches the mark of any author of the history itself, generating the illusion of a life that is only a natural life of the human wisdom and phenomenal reality. That illusion of the fantasy of a social reality which we produce in the future is a pledge of resolve. See, some point is we are worth saving. The logic of the status quo is one which requires that we constantly seek out new Matthew Shepard. This is not a social order where there are allegiance cross apply. Element evidence on this question, and also be able to enter their idea of democracy. It uh, necessarily organizes itself around the state in such a way that it is to make violence possible against those who don't appear on the geopolitical map outlined by their impact evidence. This is Christian in 2001. Wars are combined exclusive the access of powers on each other, whereas in the middle of this one constitutes really the encounters between various reforms of quasi states, they are in credit on the other, and the sovereign state of the other. Such encounters can tend to be exercised with the genealogy of international relations. The operation of this abstraction of sovereignty is the battle of bloody history of the 19th century. No aberration, the same sovereign definition of wars allowed a rumble to claim that democracy is really ever initiated. Wars with other recruits, genocide by definitely defying the international consequence between the sovereign states and the rest of the violent world history is that it is instantly sanitized everything from being against fighting against peoples of countries that are not even on the map with the sovereign abstraction that comes to the symbol. The loss of life during the encounters with the states of violence and running diseases is of no consequence. Counterplan. The counterplan is not solving the affirmative. The law is not just the written word, but also private rituals and communal relations. Remember that it was not the state who killed Matthew Shepard, but rather private actors. This means that if the counterplan remains indebted to the logic of reproductive futurism that sustains the obscene underbelly of the law and also its capacity to visit violent private violence on individuals and also implement private obstacles of abortion. This is uh, the Zizek and Maddie Clyde. Explicit public rules do not suffice the most except for the state of written code and that those who maintain the distance are naturally identified with the spirit of community. Sadism relies on the splitting of the symbolic order, regulates social life, and maintains social peace into its obscene, super egotistical inverse periodic transgression to the public law inherent the social order. They function as a condition of the latter stability. What was holding the of the community together is the identification of the specific form of transgression of the law. Public laws committed by a shadow, shadowy devil, the night they terror, the Ku Klux Klan, the Nazi community to on the same solidarity and the common transgression. And also they have simply we missed the point that it's not about how we enforce the plan, but rather how we orient ourselves toward those institutions that would enforce it in the first place. The counter plan is a political gesture par excellence, which evades responsibility. You should take the radical risk of the affirmative, even in the face of the possibility of their dissent. This is block at all it doesn't buy. Soon as the members take responsibility for the Nazi bureaucrat kills the level four responsibility to develop one's pure critical will enjoy the system. True political action only contains risk of being able to guarantee the by the lack of control of individuals are still responsible. The radical political act contains risk of lack will not only kill the radical misfire of the desire to escape responsibility to avoid political risk leads the movement to make demands that it will never be complied with. And the next argument is a criticism. There actually the next argument is the permutation. You should do both. This is not beneficial because it retains the uh, permanent commitment with disallowing the future and any risk of the net benefit only proves the extent to which the permutation disregards the future, which is only uh, net beneficial for that reason. We will also criticize the process.
process focused, say some point is interpassivity, focused on the details of policy implementation, causes interpassivity, which divorces itself from politics, is then known in 2006. Interpassivity is related to our attention to the supremacy obvious in the process of politics. Such alienation implies an increased attachment to the process accompanied by a loss of interest in the product. We are attached to institutions that our acquisitions constitute the end of our actual Four. enjoyment. And this interpassivity prevents a confrontation with the symbolic order, meaning 100% solvency deficit of the counterplan. No, 2006 interpassivity concerns mechanisms that hold entire societies together. She should connect interpassivity to the impossibility of direct enjoyment. Enjoyment is always immediate through the symbolic word of what psychoanalysis is looking for is the fantasy which sustains past safety and visa points particularity. Their reduction of the plan to its particular content denies its universal dimension. This leads to violent outbursts in the effort to reclaim universal politics. This is Zizek in 99. Let us recall the standard example of a popular protest directed at this particular point, focusing on a particular demand. The situation becomes politicized when this particular demand starts to function as a metaphor of condensation between global opposition against the those of power so that the protest is no longer actually just about that demand, but also about the universal dimension that resonates in that particular demand. And post politics can permit this metaphoric universalization of particular demands. Post politics mobilizes vast apparatuses to produce the overall demand of a particular group to justice, demand of this particular content. This suffocating closure gives birth to irrational outbursts of violence is the only way to give expression to the dimension beyond particularity. And also, their form of distinguished and which is ingenuine and it links more to their dissent. Cross-examination proves that this is the case. This is Barrett, 2003. The ability to distinguish cases is not the time that our decisive system is by distinguishing the, the disingenuous distinguishing. Uh, undeniably happens. Courts cannot be distinguished every case. The idea that a judge can't even in all most cases rationalize the word precedent. The result she wants is at least erroneous and at times preposterous. Go to the case to make the one and see what is the consequences that are important. We don't say that we should disregard all consequences. In fact, we're impact turning your disadvantage, but it is only a question of how we orient ourselves toward those toward those consequences. Those consequences can't for the end all be all of our politics. That's reproductive futures, and they have conceded that this authorizes limitless violence. Group the alternative causality debate. This is all the defense, and they have conceded that our attack on the future is net beneficial to the status quo so long as that at least revokes the authority of the state to promote potential life and also uh, constitutes a direct response to the underbelly of the state. That's the Zizek evidence that was run on the counter plan. The uh, static counter plan doesn't solve these arguments either, which means that the status quo would always be the worst and is the world of the plan. He says that Edelman ignores all politics. Group this argument. We have a plan that you should not forget about in this debate. This argument makes no sense in a world where we are advocating direct political action. It is only a question of what kind of politics we take. Our Edelman evidence indicates that politics remain conservative insofar as they work to affirm a structure who was only idealized in the future. So long as we remain at least a critical distance toward that sort of project, and we will be the sort of politics that Edelman identifies as good and not bad. He says that psychoanalysis is bad, but we are not a top-down prescription of the analyst couch. We think that psychoanalysis provides a productive account of the way that the figure of the child works to phantasmatically suture our relationship to ourselves and our order. The affirmative is a selective engagement with psychoanalysis, and if they went risk of a Lacanian, and the best justifies a, uh, the synthesis of competing political interpretations, this is daily in the other form. Jesus' perspective punches the powerful end of the of politics and becomes overly procedural and deliberate public capacity to act to encounter a strategy. Both are needed. We should speak about politics in the real reading, psychoanalysis, cuts through the sterility and aestheticism which charges us with the full capacity and responsibility to act. How we choose to act cannot be answered by psychoanalysis alone. This will depend on political engagement. He says coerced abortion, but our impacts will outweigh. There is only a risk in not allowing women to abort in the first place. We construct no subjectivity in such a way as to make the sorts of choices that they herald as per this piece of evidence impossible. That's the one I see for want evidence. Also, our animal evidence indicates that this is the idea of fetal subjectivity that necessitates the elimination of the queer, meaning that untold and limitless violence is only possible in a world absolutely affirmative. He says economic collapse, but our cross the impact debate will outweigh this, and also you should reject this form of economic blackmail. It's only an excuse for maintaining a system wherein the margins are deprived of any material existence. This is Zizek 2005. Whenever a political project takes a radical turn, it the inevitable blackmail. International capital will boycott us. The growth rate will fail, etc. The risk will have to be taken. Who cares if growth stalls or even becomes negative? We'll be not have enough of the high growth rate whose effects on the social order is worked mostly against the new forms of poverty, dispossession. What about a negative growth rate? That would all day will be better seen than the for the wider popular strata. That would be a political act that is will automatically endorsing a existing political framework to break out the debilitating alternative either which has directly endorsed the American globalization, or we make promises that, uh, along the lines of having a magic formula about how to have one's cake and eat it to the final one and see argument is that the fetus is alive. This is not an argument that is impacted in the one and see and abortion is legal in the status quo, meaning that the impact is explained in the block and it is not unique because they have not read a piece of evidence that said that the plan would increase the number of abortions that occur, and all of our impacts will outweigh the idea of a single fetus being eliminated by a single mother. All right, when you say your impacts outweigh, yeah. what is that impact that you're referring to specifically? What is the impact to our path? Right, like when you say futurism is bad, yeah. what is that doing? What does futurism do? Like, contextual. I'm sorry, I, 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 I'm, I'm confused as to what you're asking me. Are you saying, when we argue that our impacts outweigh, right, to which right. impact do I refer, or what is yes, to, our impact? To, to what, what is your impact that you are referring to when you say that? The impact to the affirmative is limitless, 
an authorized state sanctioned public and private violence. Okay, we why say that it is the ideology of futurism which makes possible every instance of okay. organized communal violence against alterity. Why is that violence worse than the violence that we plan will occur in the short term that results in things like extinction? Well, for a number of reasons. The first is that those those sorts of projections that you're talking about are entirely speculative. How is that any more speculative than your solvency arguments that you can speculatively cause people to not engage in uh, violence? The question of our question of affirmative solvency is entirely separate from the question of the probability of our impacts. Queerness is being eliminated now, Judge. Matthew Shepard happened a few years ago, and we are bombarded every time we turn on the news with incidents of austerity. I mean, I'm not saying that's stigmatized and eliminated. Your, your impact questions are entirely probabilistic, meaning that to forfeit true progressive change in the status quo to them would be precisely okay. the sort of political passivity that your psychoanalysis right. bad evidence criticizes. All right, I'm trying to just understand the way that these impacts interact. If we read systemic impacts then from things like democracy, do those interact or do those lead to your critique? If you read an impact that outweighs the AF, then right. obviously Matt will be compelled to vote for you. Our I mean, argument is that those sorts of the, the things that democracy does bad now, like the systemic impacts that you're that you're talking about detailing, are all made possible because of an ideological investment in a tomorrow that demands as its at its uh, 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 demands uh, as its price the expense of today. Okay, so how do you change the way that people are going to view tomorrow as a result of your plan? We have read several pieces of evidence that indicates that when a political project disavows the future in such a radical way as to say, you know what, fuck the child, not only will we not concern ourselves with it, but we will directly oppose it by means of making demands, for example, okay. for greater access to abortion. Right, well, we're reading. That is capable, as uh, Laura Edelman right. says, of aborting the continued replication of the status We are reading an impact that occurs on an international level. I'm wondering how your case uh, prevents that Reproductive sort of futurism is what makes international violence possible. Right, but how do you? It is only because we've decided that theirs don't and ours do that we allow ourselves to bomb happen. other people's children. Okay, that's fine. Right. You want industry to be evidence? Yeah.